J.W. Stoker, Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame honoree. J.W. Stoker was born on the Stoker Ranch near Colorado Springs, Colorado. His interest in trick riding and roping was sparked when their grandfather took them to see the Tom Mix Circus performance in Kansas City, Missouri. As a nine-year-old boy, J.W. belonged to a riding club and would get together on Sundays with kids who ranged in age from 6 to 18. That winter, Pinky Barnes traveled to Kansas City to teach kids how to rope. Pinky was a Wild West show and rodeo hand who frequently worked in the movies. From that point on, J.W. knew he wanted to be a trick rider and roper and practiced every day for hours. At the age of 10, J.W. and the Stoker family went on the road. At the age of 12, he appeared on the Wheaties box as juvenile champion trick rider. J.W. turned pro in 1942. He rodeoed steadily, except during World War II, when tires and gas were not available for travel. He also missed rodeoing during his military service in the Korean conflict. While in the service, J.W. was with the Soldier Show section of Special Forces, where he entertained troops along with a young Hollywood singer named Eddie Fisher. Upon his discharge from the service in 1953, he went on the road performing with black lights. This use of invisible ultraviolet lights was the first such use in professional rodeo. His talents of trick riding, black light rope spinning, and fancy horse catches have been witnessed in many countries including Japan, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Korea, Finland, France, Australia, and Venezuela. J.W. has even performed for the Queen of England. J.W. Stoker performed as a stunt rider for Roy Rogers. He was a stunt double in the motion picture Bronco Billy for Sam Bottom, and he performed at the Calgary Olympics Rodeo. J.W. was honored two consecutive years in 1985 and 86 by the prestigious Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association as their Entertainer of the Year. He was inducted into the National Cowboy Hall of Fame in 1999. J.W. Stoker lives near Weatherford, Texas, where he spends his off-season training his show horses for his acts. This transplanted Texan, who's still a bachelor, hasn't let time slow him down. He still does all the fancy riding and roping, still standing on his horse and jumping through the loop and then onto the ground. And he still breaks his own horses. His expertise is sought after by young men and women who want to follow in his footsteps, and he is willing to help them. He has always believed that fancy costumes are a must for a performer. His wardrobe includes more than 50 fancy fringe rhinestone shirts, matching boots, and hats. For almost seven decades, J.W. Stoker has entertained and been recognized as one of the most famous trick riders and ropers ever. And now, he is being recognized in the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame, J.W. Stoker.